walk you through uh, how to um, update your firmware and get to your wireless router uh, if you have a Linksys uh, WAP54G. Um, tell you how to actually get to it uh, using the web browser instead of the little crappy software that you use from the CD that uh, really just helps you set it up basically. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to set our computer up so that we can get to the uh, web interface. Alright, so first thing we need to do is we need the IP address of the router. And since the IP address is on a different uh, subnet um, than most routers, if you're on DSL like I am, then you're on a, you're probably going to be on a different subnet, um, and you can't actually see, you can't browse across subnets. So we'll have to set a static IP address up on the computer. Okay, so first off you want to make sure that you're not using wireless you got a PC plugged in directly to the uh, the network which we are directly plugged in so what we're going to do is you're going to go to our network neighborhood then we're going to go to our local area connection we're going to put in a static IP address next static IP address is 192.168.1.50 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and uh, default gateway is 192.168.1.1 and then you can hit OK and sometimes you have to reboot sometimes not easiest way to be able to test is try to actually get to 192.168.1.245 it'll actually prompt you for a username and password when you reach the site leave the the username blank and the password is admin and after you get to this website what you want to do is basically go into your administrator settings and you want to back up anything and just back up your settings you know save them onto the machine anywhere so we'll just back them up right here on the desktop no big deal and then you want to go into your firmware and basically find your new firmware that you want to update to hit upgrade it'll do its thing it'll reboot and then you'll be upgraded and then you can change your IP address on your local machine back to DHCP if that's what you're using. Alright, so that should be uh, everything you need uh, basically to upgrade your firmware on that router. Uh, you shouldn't run into any problems and you shouldn't have to reload any of your configuration. You should actually save those uh, even through the firmware update.